honoring veterans with music. That is exactly what happened tonight at Engel Stadium in Chattanooga. Thanks for joining us tonight. I'm Kim Chapman. And I'm Joshua. Tonight was the 6th annual American Dream Concert, a concert not only for veterans, but also by veterans. John Maybell was there and joined us now live. John, tell us who you met tonight. Well, Josh and Kim, the show is over and everyone's gone home for the evening, but we met with some veterans from all three branches of the service earlier this evening. All of them very appreciative of this concert that was put on by the friends of the festival and a host of sponsors. All of the veterans talked to us about the past, the present, and the future. A patriotic sense of love for veterans filled historic Ingle Stadium. The power players brought the rock and roll for veterans they called not afraid to fight. Christine Temple served on a destroyer, the USS Acadia, in the Persian Gulf War in the Navy. She's seen many improvements for women veterans since her time in the service. As a woman, I mean, we all go through our own traumatic experiences, and it's hard to talk to a male doctor as a female. So now they've got a lot more female doctors available to us. They've created women's clinics specifically for women veterans. Fellow Navy vet Alan Seiler paused during our interview for an important piece of music, the national anthem. Much proud of being American. No doubt about it. Seiler served in the Navy from 68 to 77. He remembers well coming home from Vietnam. My crew got chased through the Logan Airport in Boston one morning, and uh, they threw cokes on us. But as he sits with his good friend, retired Brigadier General Carl Levi, he wouldn't trade his days in the service for anything. Friendships. I have uh, individuals that I have not seen in person in 45 years. I email them every day and they email me. I learned early on that you had to go to every school possible. Levi served 35 years and rose to the Brigadier General rank, and he sees a problem moving forward. I think the general public likes the military. Unfortunately, we don't have enough elected officials who have military service, and, and that really hurts a lot. His buddy Allen calls him an icon. That's also how he refers to retired Lieutenant Colonel Ray Atkins ones we must treasure. One of my best friends growing up, his father carried seven machine gun bullets in his chest from Iwo Jima, and uh, he died not long ago, and, and it was like an, another icon is gone. Now, Brigadier General Carl Levi, retired U.S. Army, is 87 years old and still active. Now, he received a big award tonight. It was from the Daughters of the American Revolution. It was the Veterans Service to the Veterans Award. That is a big honor for him and indeed. Reporting live from historic Ingle Stadium, I'm John Madewell for News Channel 9. Now back to you. John, thank you, sir. The American Dream Concert supports veterans and directly benefits UTC's College of Business Veterans Entrepreneurship Program which has seen 95 veterans graduate since it started.